Hi, my name is Valera and I'm a senior at Caltech studying physics. I work with the Caltech CMS group and I'm currently standing right in front of the Globe of Science and Innovation here at CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research. CERN is located just outside of Geneva on the border of France and Switzerland and is the world's largest particle physics facility. On top of the thousands of researchers who are permanently situated here, CERN hosts over 10,000 visiting scientists from around 113 countries. That's roughly one half of the world's particle physicists. I'd like to take you inside now and tell you a little bit about Caltech's involvement here with physics at CERN. CERN is the site of the Large Hadron Collider, currently the world's highest energy particle accelerator, recently achieving energies around 7 to 8 tera electron volts. The LHC is a circular accelerator that collides protons produced from ionized hydrogen and is located 100 meters underground with a circumference of around 27 kilometers. The products of these collisions feed off into many various experiments, the primary experiments being the LHCF, which studies cosmic radiation, the LHCb, which studies the asymmetry of matter and antimatter in the universe, ALICE, which studies large ion collisions, and CMS and ATLAS, the two larger general detectors which investigate a wide array of physics beyond the standard model, including studies pertaining to the Higgs boson, extra dimensions, dark matter, and supersymmetry. The Caltech High Energy Physics Group works in collaboration with the CMS experiment here at CERN, which stands for the Compact Muon Solenoid. One of the primary differences between ATLAS and CMS is that CMS has a large superconducting solenoidal magnet, which is able to bend the trajectories of heavier charged particles called muons, so they're able to be detected within a relatively small volume. Now we're here down at 0.5 by the CMS detector, and you can actually see it here all in the story. The Caltech CMS group is headed by Professors Harvey Newman and Maria Sparoplu, who offer the unique opportunity for undergraduates to come and work at CERN, either through the SURF program or through the CERN's own summer student program. One of Caltech's major contributions to the CMS experiment is its focus on providing a superb calibration for photon calorimetry measurements. Undergraduates in the group have been able to participate in these measurements, as well as studies on the search for supersymmetry and dark matter. The Caltech CMS group is involved in the search for dark matter through missing energy and momentum from unseen particles. Caltech even pioneered an analysis technique in kinematic variables called razor variables, which aid in the discovery and characterization of these new particles. So I'm now here in the main auditorium at CERN, which is where lectures and seminars are held. During the summer, they hold special lectures here for visiting students covering topics such as standard model physics, detector design, medical physics, and astrophysics. This is also where the CMS and ATLAS collaborations jointly announced the discovery of a new boson last year, around 125 GeV. This new particle became the candidate for the Higgs boson, which is thought to attribute mass to other particles. Caltech was highly involved in the CMS measurements of the Higgs, predominantly through decay channels into two bosons. Currently, the group is involved in measuring the various properties of this new boson, and Caltech is one of the few institutes that is involved in the future studies for the upgrade to the high luminosity LHC. In physics, we have four forces, the gravitational force, the electromagnetic force, and the strong and weak nuclear forces. The Higgs attributes mass to other particles through a phenomenon called the electroweak symmetry breaking. The discovery of the Higgs identifies a fifth force, which is responsible for its electroweak symmetry breaking. The properties of this new force can be determined through measurements of the Higgs self-coupling. There are many other projects going on with the Caltech CMS group revolving around the search for physics beyond the standard model, as well as detector research and development. For more information, you can check out the Caltech CMS group website at hep.caltech.edu.